Hello there, I'm here to talk to you about the atheist fairy tale. So, uh, Mega Sage 007, or as I say, Santa Claus. Let's see what else you have to say in this very intellectual, very in insightful video of yours. The belief uh, that there was nothing and nothing happened to nothing, and then nothing magically exploded for no reason into the Big Bang. Creating everything and then a bunch of everything magically rearranged itself for no reason whatsoever into self-replicating bits which then turned themselves into whatsoever you see out there that is called a creature. But the things you just said, well, number one, they were completely incorrect, but everything you just said has nothing to do with atheism at all. It has to do with cosmology and abiotic genesis and evolution, which they are all mutually exclusive. Same with atheism. They have nothing to do with atheism. Not every single atheist believes it. Many Christians actually believe it, in fact. The Big Bang happened 13.7 billion years ago, and we have actual factual proof and evidence for it. Same with abiotic genesis, same with evolution. It's not an atheist belief system, and it's not nothing. And this is atheism, the fairy tale. Fairy tales involve myth. Fairy tales involve fables. Fairy tales involve legends. Fairy tales involve magic, mystical beings, supernatural beings, etc., etc. Atheism has nothing, none of that. Atheism only has non-belief in fairy tales, non-belief in religion, and non-belief in God. Period. It's not a fairy tale. Number one, atheism isn't a fairy tale. Christianity, fairy tale. Jesus, fairy tale. That Jack and the Beanstalk, fairy tale. Yahweh, fairy tale. Those are all fairy tales. Not believing in a fairy tale is a fairy tale? Huh. Well, I guess bald is a hell color. Uh, having no job is actually an employment. Atheists say there is no God, even though you cannot prove it. Atheism doesn't need to be proven. The burden of proof relies on one making the claim that a God or God exists. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Now, if I would have come to you randomly, and tell you that I can fly and I have superpowers, you would automatically think, no he doesn't, he has to prove it to me. And you would say to me, no you don't, you don't have superpowers, I'll say yes I do. You say, okay fine, prove to me that you have superpowers, and I'll be just like you and say, prove to you? No, 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 it's your proof that, it's your burden of proof that you must prove, disprove that I can't fly. If you can prove that I can't fly, then automatically I can't, but until then, I can fly. It's called logic. Apparently, that is exactly what you're doing, and you have no logic at all. Many atheists believe uh, evolutionary theories, suggesting the universe expanded itself from nothing into its presumably ever-expanding existence, even though there is no scientific proof nothing can manifest into something in a vacuum. And in what you just described has nothing to do with evolution. That would be the big bang that you're trying ever so horribly to describe. Evolution is the uh, change through life, is the biological slow adaptability over time of life. Evol the big bang, universe began. That's it. You completely made the ignorant and quite trollish uh, creationist argument which made no sense. Do you have any proof that God exist? Do you have any proof that a God exists? Do you have any proof that your God exists and that he created the universe exactly the way you believe he did? No, but science has proof, indistinguishable factual and evidential proof of the Big Bang, of a biogenesis, and of evolution, which many scientists are actually them. Many scientists believe it, and most of them are deistic or atheistic. 97% are atheistic, the rest are deist, believe in a God, and they're either deistic or Christian, or Muslim, most likely Christian or deistic. But all of them, mostly, especially at the National Academy of Sciences, which I just uh, named, I forgot to mention, are atheistic. 97%. So, could they all be lying? Could they all be getting their facts wrong, and only 2% or 3% are getting it right? When the two to three percent who do believe in the God don't, each, don't even study the Big Bang, cosmology, and evolution, or biology, as far as the expansion of the universe goes, 
All you got to do is get an unbelieving scientist to say it, don't you? Then it's true, because the unbelieving scientist said so. Quite odd to say that when most of the scientists, especially in America, 97% of the National Academy of Scientists, are atheists or agnostic. Skeptics, atheists, and agnostics. Only 3% are theistic. And I say theistic loosely because mo many of them are actually deistic. They have the facts, they have the evidence. That's why we actually look up to them. That's why we actually call them for answers that we do not have the answers for. But they do or are still looking. What about the old book that you use from thousands of years ago? What answers have you gotten from that? <whistles> Zero. Many atheists mock God whom you say does not exist. So why are you mocking him whom you say does not exist? And why are you mocking him whom you cannot prove does not exist. Many atheists ridicule believers for not believing what you cannot prove is a lie. Isn't that more of your intellectual incompetence, dishonesty, and rebellion against God? And the reason why we mock him, not because we secretly believe in him and we're trying to rebel, as you so forehold claim. We don't believe in him. How can we rebel to something that we don't believe in? And we mock him because of the people who, oh, I don't know, believe in him, act the way. For example, your ignorance is making me mock you and mock your invisible, unintellectual, non-existent deity of a god. Sarah Palin, for example, as well. The same reason. Michelle Bachman, the same reason. Fred, Fred Phelps, the same goddamn reason. Religion is hurting people. God, the belief in God, I'm sorry, has hurting people. Not the individual itself, but in the community and the society itself. And it's just pretty stupid to think that we're being intellectually dishonest when in fact we actually say we don't know what created what and we don't believe in a, in a god that's actually being intellectually honest being on a, being dishonest and intellectualized would be to claim that there is a god and using an old book with no proof no evidence just faith in an old book which you mostly many people claim isn't all truth is just man-made certain parts of it man-made all the blood violence and stuff man-made the good parts god everything else man-made blind faith that's being intellectually de dishonest is outlawed in the american uh government and in government managed schools but that doesn't prove a belief in the God of the Bible is irrational or wrong. So why would you presume believers in God and the Bible to be wrong without evidence except you have been brainwashed by what your evil heart wants to hear? And now it has become fashionable, hasn't it? Your fairy tale belief in atheism has become fashionable and you don't want to join with those hated and despise teaching creationism is unconstitutional for many reasons which i'm not going to discuss Cre uh, creationism is a irrational mainly because you have no evidence you have no proof there is nothing supporting it all, at all and it's just crazy claims that you believe now the claim that it's a fad is bullshit atheism has been around since the dawn literally the very first ma human man and woman first came to existence it's been that way. Atheism has been and always will be. From when you're born, you're an atheist until you become brainwashed and dogmatic. And we're not being, how are you being brainwashed? Brainwashed into what? I used to be a Christian. I used to be a Baptist, Trinity Baptist Christian who believed in God, who believed in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, all in one. What was I brainwashed into reading the Bible, which made me and convinced me that the God of the Bible is impossible? Is it, the, is, it, is it being brainwashed to read scientific books? Is it being brainwashed to research different religions and the religion of Christianity? Is that being brainwashed? Because if it is, then I must be brainwashed to learn, to study, to grow in knowledge. 
I have no evil heart because my heart, just like everybody else, pumps blood. Well, maybe not you. You might just not pump anything because you, you like Santa Claus. You're like you look like Santa Claus, and you're probably just as old as him, over two hundred to three hundred years old. But still, you claim something with no evidence, and yet, and you teach it to people, and you call the people who disbelieve you brainwashed. Does that make any sense? That makes no sense. Most atheists say we believers predicate our beliefs in God on blind faith and are illogical in believing a supreme being of incomprehensible intelligence and power created the universe. Yet it is you atheists who believe in nothing who are illogical. Wait, what? It's illogical to not believe in a supreme Queen being that there was no evidence, there's no proof of an evidence actually leans towards not believing in him. Wow. Boy, atheists don't believe in nothing. We believe in a lot of things, a lot of the same things you believe in. I believe in love, I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, which I'm still trying to pursue it. I haven't found it yet again, but I'm still trying to pursue it. I believe in this monster. And this monster drink can I had a few days ago, which I keep in here just to, just because. I believe in that cat over there, which I have. Hi, Blizzard. I believe in myself. I believe in my finger. I believe in my hair. I believe that you're a complete and total idiot. I believe Sarah Palin's a fucking retard. I believe Obama's doing an okay job, but he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, which sucks. I believe that Michelle Bachman is fucking retarded. Almost as, almost as retarded as this guy and almost as retarded as Sarah Palin. I believe in a lot of things. I just do not believe in God. I do not believe in magic. I do not believe in fairy tales. Unlike, unlike you who believe in fairy tales, magic, and a God, which you have no proof for and no evidence for. Mega Sage 7 Please understand this. I'm not going to finish your entire video. Because it's going to be way too much of an explanation. So I've just decided to minimize the entire thing. Just very small. I just decided to grab the first few minutes of it sliffing it down and do what I do best. I I will watch your videos further and I will do the same thing with the rest of your videos sometime in the future. Read some science book and please Mega Sage 007 please understand this. Stop believing in fairy tales. Stop posting videos about this. It's freaking annoying and it's kind of retarded to even see this. And please, if you have the intellectual curiosity that most people should have, go to my website at gphhawkinsrationalsociety.webly.com and you will actually see many of your claims debunked completely. Have a nice day.